So let's take a look then at the table after those results on Saturday. Liverpool now four points clear at the top ahead of Leicester, whilst Manchester United's big win sees them climb up to third on goal difference. Spurs incredibly have dropped out of the top four. Right, looking at the bottom half, Sheffield United now eight points adrift of safety. Leeds are in 14th with Arsenal below them, still way down in 15th. Burnley can climb out of the bottom three with a positive result against Wolves on Monday night. Right, we have to start talking about Liverpool because usually title contenders, winners, whatever you want to call them, click into gear right about now and that's exactly what they've done. Stunning result. I think, uh, you know, we're hearing Klopp bemoaning the five subs and everything else was going on. But when I saw that result come through, I thought against the Palace side that's normally really defensive minded with Roy Hodgson there, is that... And I thought, it must have been a sending off. There must have been something. But then when I saw the goals, some wonderful goals there. It looks like they're back. Mm. And when you look at the Premier League, the top sides, it looks like they're the only ones that are really performing, like, that, like we know. And the other teams are struggling a little bit. I think a big thing as well was to see Salah on the bench and still a comfortable win before we come on, mm. where other teams like Spurs, they have to play Son and Kane every game. Man United, Rashford, Fernandes have got to play every game. Looks like Liverpool have got the squad now, even with injuries to be able to rest players, because now you know Salah's going to start the next game. I think it's West Brom fresh from only playing 20 minutes. Are they clear favourites now, do you then, Alan, to yeah. win this again? Yeah, I think so. And, uh, you know, the other sides, they've got a lot to do to catch Liverpool. When you look at the other contenders, we've talked about Tottenham in the show. Do you put Manchester United into that category? Do you put Leicester into that category? Manchester City? Who do you think would be the closest challenger to Liverpool? I think for me, it's got to be Manchester United now. I really? feel like, yeah, the way Fernandes is playing, his consistency, Rashford, Martial, they're um, conceding less goals as well. And for me, Leicester, their home form has been so bad this season that that's going to cost them in the long run. And Manchester United look like the best equipped team to get anywhere near Liverpool. I think they'll win their game in hand, Manchester United. They're only two points behind Liverpool, so mm -hmm. you've got to back Manchester United now. One team I didn't mention there, Alan, is Chelsea, who are one of the sides in action on Monday night against West Ham. What do you think of well, their credentials? Yeah, I mean, before last week, I was looking at Spurs and Chelsea perhaps upsetting the odds and having a title challenge. Amazing but what back-to-back -back defeats does. But like Spurs, teams, yeah. they've failed their addition, uh, Chelsea. They can get back to winning ways tomorrow night. Frank's got the squad. Mm. I think the problem Frank's got is, is picking his best 11. I think he's got so many players there now. You know, what is his best 11? Um, yeah, I thought they'd have a chance, but I can't see further than Liverpool. No, no. David Moyes has done a, a great job as well of upsetting mm. teams this season. Could he do it to Frank Lampard's side? I think 100%. You see the way West Ham play um, this season. They're very defensive-minded, playing on the counter-attack, but it worked for them. Suchek and Rice in the midfield don't start running. And they'll make it difficult for Chelsea. We've seen what Wolves done to Chelsea. They made it very difficult in the previous game. And I'm sure David Moore will want to try and get something positive out of the game. And like Alan says, I think Chelsea and Spurs have failed their audition now. And Liverpool are going to make it frustrating for everyone because I can see them winning the next three games and start to make a nine, 12 point gap. How impressed have you been with David back in your old seat at yeah, West Ham? Yeah, I, I think he's found a, a, a setup that suits everybody. They're playing three at the back and uh, got a great squad there now. When they get an injury, there's someone that comes in. So Antonio's out, Haller comes in. You know, so I think he, that they're, they're going to be above mid-table. I think that they'd be looking at the top six, but maybe a bit too far. But I think Davies bought well as well. And I just hope they give him another longer contract. His contract's coming up. And uh, I think he's shown he deserves a new contract. Yeah, he's certainly done very well so far this season. Very quickly, Gabby, we've also got Burnley against Wolves. What do you expect from that? I'm looking at a Wolves team. Um, very impressive against Chelsea. Neto and Pedence, so I'm thinking a Wolves win for me, 3-1. OK, gentlemen, thank you so much for your company on Match Day Live. Extra two matches still to go in what's been an enthralling and full of goals weekend. See you next time.